Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna go over what you need to do to actually get to the end of your artifact. So if you notice in most seasons now, the, art, the mods that are in the artifact are really good, but the ones that are really, really good are the last two in the very last slot. And in last season, for instance, it was Breach and Clear, and Energy Accelerant, and things like that. These are useful to get to as quickly as possible to make the right builds, and also prepare yourself for endgame content. In this video, I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks with that. Probably the easiest and fastest way I found, and I actually have math to back it up, so I can actually show you actual stats that will show you reality around how quickly you can get to this. If you like the video, if it provides value to you, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and jump my Discord. I really appreciate it. So let's talk about a few things first. Um, again, if you know a lot about what I'm about to talk about, and you just want to see the actual facts and the math and what I would propose, I'm going to put a timestamp on where you can fast forward in the video. Otherwise, I'm going to go over real quick tips on things you need to keep in mind when you're trying to do this. So first off, one thing to keep in mind is when we're talking about things that will get you quickly, is first off, there are seasonal challenges within the season. And you'll notice I have a few that aren't done. So for instance, Trials 1, which we'll see if I do or not. You'll notice that um, this is an 8 times extra large XP. What that actually means, that the extra large XP is 25,000. Eight times is 200,000. That's a lot of XP. Um, if I need to get up quicker in my seasonal pass, that's something I would consider, right? So doing all of these each week is extremely important if you want to get that up quickly. So that's where this is located. These are the seasonal challenges. And again, they change every season. So in addition, you have quests. So quests have changed. Bounties have changed quite a bit within Destiny 2. Um, the ones that are very valuable are about 12K in value, those are your Iron Banners, those are your weeklies from Hawthorne, those are the ones from Varric that are weekly, so you have a few here. They're the ones that are from the Cosmodrome. So again, primarily, you know, Iron Banner, your Clan XP, um, the Cosmodrome again, and Varric, again, the two major planets that were in the expansion. That's what you're typically going to see from season to season. Those are worth 12k. Then after that, you want to get as many dailies as you can get. And again, if you aren't prepared for this, when you see this video and you want to prepare in the future, I do have a video where I did talk about that. I'll link here where I talk about the best bounties and how to kind of prepare for a new season. So if you look at this, all of these ones that are dailies, those are around 6,000. What you want to avoid are repeatables because repeatables are 4K. They do give you some bright dust, but they don't give you a ton of XP. And you can get these, again, from all sorts of sources. You can get from Varix. You can get these or whatever the seasonal planet is for that year. You can get it from Gambit, from Crucible, from the Cosmodrome, from Gunsmith, and from um, the Vanguard for uh, for strikes. Now, one of the things, one of the reasons you want to get from those main areas, I'll get to in a minute, is that will help you with something else you want to do when you're looking to do XP. So if you look at the, if you look at the uh, director right now, You'll notice that you have these little yellow icons. What those are are weekly challenges, and there are a ton of them. What's key about this, so let's say for this for this one, for instance, if you do three of these Corrupted Confluxes and you do three of those, you get Pinnacle Gear. Okay, that's great. The bigger thing is you get 12K um, XP, which is the same as those weekly bounties, which are a lot more rares. But now you have these all over the place. This. They're the Vanguard, Gambit, Crucible, raids and the tower again they're all over the place so again these are other important concepts to keep in mind the other thing to think about too is that when you're trying to get xp you'll obviously from your season pass and i'll go over that in a minute you obviously get bonuses but one other thing is is with your shell you can get something pretty easily which is in this case this is a plus 12 xp and this lasts pretty much through the end of a regular year um, I got this earlier in the year. You see it expires in the, the season 15, which is fine for now when I'm recording this. And that gives me plus 12%. I had a glimmer bonus to that again, just to fill it out. But that's going to be plus 12% on top of any other bonuses you have. Now, one other thing you could do as far as bonuses that you should keep in mind is that if you go over to your season pass, as you'll see right here, and I'm going to go all the way back because obviously I've done a lot with my season pass, you'll notice on your season pass that you have Fireteam XP boosts, which are basically boosts when you're in a fire team with you and another person, and that will give a boost to you and the person in there. So that's plus 2%, and then it adds up. 
And there's also a plus 2% for small XP bo uh, boost. And you'll notice these go over the period of the season pass. Again, as you up your season pass, that'll allow you to get more XP. And again, I'll go more detail about what some of those are specifically, but I want to show you if you want to visualize that where that is. Now I'm going to show you some of the maths I actually did to prove that this actually works. So first off, this is an Excel spreadsheet that I'm actually going to upload to my Discord. If you guys want to look at it, it'll be there. Links in the description. But this, let me give you some first basics. So we talked about earlier on the seasonal rank, how you get certain unlocks for bonus XP increases. So first off, when you start on your seasonal pass, the very beginning, if you have the paid one, you get a 20% discount by, or increased your XP by default. And then this goes up for the most part around 10 points per every portion of the uh, seasonal pass until you get to 76 and max out 32. So that's your XP bonuses. Your fire team bonuses, again, this is if you're in a fire team, give you up to an additional 8%. And these are these are multiplied on top of each other. So again, that can really help in increasing your XP gains along with your ghost shell. So again, that maxes out at 8% when you get to the level 86 on your seasonal pass. The other thing is, if you looked earlier when I talked about seasonal pass, if you want to get all the way on your artifact and get that 12 unlocks, Basically, there is a thread on Reddit that's a little bit older, but it still has relevant information. I'll link in the description where they talk about how much XP. And to get to that, it's around it's around seasonal rank 74. And you actually have to get through basically around 8 million XP to get to that level. So it's really high, obviously. Now, with this... The other thing I wanted to go over, and I'll go over this in a little more detail in a second, there are a series of seasonal challenges, and you can see there are a ton of them on here. You'll notice these are color-coded. That'll come into play in a little bit when I talk about what the best strategy is for grinding up your seasonal pass. So, again, all these are basically from the main categories of things you usually do to more complicated things. Every one of these things, when you finish them, give you 12,000 XP. And then if you have some of these bonuses on top of that, that can give you even more. So what I'm going to look at now is what I think is the best strategy for doing this. So let's first off talk about, let me show you this a little bit at a time so it doesn't get too much ahead of you. So I basically, the, all those bounties that I talked about, and I'll post a video in the future to kind of show my results, but this is what I'm banking on. Based on having all of those bounties across my characters, I'm going to have almost 700,000 in XP from the very beginning, okay? Then on top of that, okay, on top of that, I'm going to get an additional, and I, I'm putting a time in here, and this is to tell you how long I think each of these steps take, so I can give you an idea of how long I think it will take you to increase your seasonal rank the fastest. And this is, again, what I think is actual math. This is about 15 minutes to turn these in across all three characters. With a raw rested bonus on top of that, it's going to give you to about 946,000 because that gives you an extra 250,000. And that's account wide. So you can only get that once. You can't do that across multiple characters. So what I would do is I would turn in all of your regular non weekly bounty. So these are all of your, and I'll, I'll explain why in a second, but this will be all of the bounties that are just daily that you have. And there's a primary reason for that. The primary reason is your, you know, at some point you want to get it as up to a certain level because you want to be able to go in and get your future increases, to your XP, while you do other activities. Well, you need a base to get there. And so to get there as quickly as possible, those dailies you can repeat. Plus, if you do the dailies at the beginning, you can go ahead and get the weekly challenges. And then you can also, after that, depending on how you do this, not only can you get your, your weekly challenges from those things done for some of the bounties, because if you turn eight bounties for certain activities, but you can also get, obviously, the, the bounties themselves done. And then you can add additional bounties later as you're playing through some of those activities. So if I do the math, then I add the bonuses that I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to around level 13 by doing that. And again, that just takes 15 minutes. Again, not a big deal. And again, guys, as I'm looking through this, this is my view. Um, if I've made a mistake in math or anything like that, it's possible. But for the most part, this jives with what I've seen on Reddit and other areas. Then what I'm going to do is you noticed when I looked at the seasonal objectives, the seasonal challenges for that first week. They were primarily all around whatever the seasonal event is, okay? And assuming the pattern is going to maintain, and then playing Gambit, 
playing strikes, playing crucible, and then playing on Europa. Now that could change this next season, but that's what it was last season. And I'm just going to base what I'm doing based on that. So then if you do that, if you basically go into the seasonal event, if you use the bounties, because typically there's some bounties from the seasonal event, and you go ahead and do that. And at the same time, you get the challenges done based on the model from last season. And I think that's going to take about a half hour. That's going to give you another 160,000 um, base XP added. Now, as part of that, and again, I did some math. I actually went in and played some of these activities to see what I would think they would actually average. And if you usually that's around three events of that type to get that challenge done. That's going to add another 30,000 30, XP to your total. If you add that up again, as you're increasing your bonuses, that's going to give you to about level 16. You notice I rounded up here. That's because more than likely, these are conservative numbers on my XP. More than likely, you're going to go up a little, a little faster than that. Then the next set, these next three, is I basically can go into Crucible, Gambit, and Strikes. And I'm going to go ahead, if I haven't, first off, if I haven't already gotten enough uh, bounties, I'm going to get those. I'm going to get the new bounties, okay? I've already told in the old ones. I'm going to get new bounties that I can go ahead and turn in, the, again, those dailies to get some more XP. So with that, I'm going to get between those, and those will also have seasonal uh, uh, challenges, which have 50,000 XP per. I'm basically going to, with this first set, I'm going to do Crucible. It's going to take up a half hour. I'm going to get level 17. I'm going to do Gambit. I know you hate it, but hey, it's going to get you up there. I'm going to do that, and that's going to give me up to level 19. And then I'm also going to do Strikes. Again, this is on my first character that I'm doing this. And that's going to get me up to level uh, level 20. So again, I'm only doing this. I turned in my dailies basically across all my characters. But these next few steps I've done only on my first character. Because again, what I'm trying to do is maximize getting up as quickly as possible on seasonal pass. So I get the increased benefit of some of those bonuses. Then what I'm going to go in and do is that last season, they basically had um, challenges. So if you did so many challenges, you would get basically some seasonal objectives on uh, seasonal challenges already done. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to just from playing the game, doing the exo challenge. Okay. And the exo challenge basically is doing stasis on places on Europa. So when you're doing these things like crucible game and strike where you can, and you don't have to do a burn, go ahead and do it on stasis because that will give you automatic 12,000 XP from the exo. And then also I'll get clan XP at this point, because as you're doing those activities, you'll get clan XP. That'll give me another 98,000. I said this about 15 minutes because, again, this is just me, for the most part, finishing up anything that I haven't finished in this area. That gives me another 98,000 XP, which takes me up to 22, the level 22. Then I'm going to go to Europa. If this holds, I'm going to do basically cha challenges that were – there were uh, – last season, there was a seasonal challenge around those planets. It was about 75,000 in XP. I'm going to – whatever I haven't finished, I'm going to go ahead and go in there, and that's usually just – killing things with this weapon or doing this or doing these achievements within that planet. I'm also going to do simulation because simulation is really, really, really simple. And then I'm going to also do the Varix bounty. Okay. I'm going to do that. That's going to give me 147,000 XP alone. Again, it's going to take about a half hour. I'm also, again, in each of these, I'm also going to get about 30,000 XP just in playing the game during those activities. That's going to give me level uh, 24. Then at this point, I'm trying to get to level 26 next before I do the next step because that's when I get another 2% in my bonuses. So to do that, I'm just going to grind. And I, again, I said about 15 minutes because it's only 130,000. You can go do public events. You could even decide to take on some of the other challenges like do a nightfall or something like that. And again, you know, work your way up. But that shouldn't take you long. And again, I would primarily just do things like public events, uh, patrols, things like that on a planet. That'll give me a level 26. Then I'm going to go in and turn all my weeklies in, okay? All my weeklies in across all my characters because at this point, it gets increasingly difficult to get to those bonuses quickly. I think at this point, you're in good shape. Now, when I do this, when I actually go in and turn in these bonuses, I'm also going to try to do it within a fire team. That'll give me a small bonus at this point. So I'm going to go turn in those things plus the gunsmith dailies, which I had not turned into date, and that's going to take another 15 minutes. That's going to give me another 576,000 XP, which is going to give me the 34. So again, I can get another small bonus at level 36. So again, after that, I'm going to spend about 15 minutes grinding up 100,000 uh, XP really quickly, and that'll allow me to get to level 36. So at that point, I've done pretty much. Now, I could continue to go on that character and do all the other challenges, but some of those are uh, time-consuming. So if you looked at the challenges I talked about earlier, right, 
you'll see I color coded this based on the, the mode and timing when I turn some of these things in, right? But you'll notice some of this other stuff, you could do that, but some of this stuff actually for 12,000 XP takes a little while. And later you might still wanna do that, but when I'm in a hurry like this, I wanna do things as easy as possible. So then what I'm gonna do is the following. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go my second player, I'm gonna do Crucible, Gambit, Strikes, and again, I'm gonna try to get that stasis thing by using stasis off of Europa, and I'm gonna get bounties for each one of those activities, okay? That's gonna take about an hour and a half. Again, I think I'm getting another 100,000 um, XP just in playing the game through that. That's gonna give me the level 39. I'm gonna do it on the third player, another hour and a half. That's gonna give me level 42. Then I'm gonna do the grind. I'm gonna do basically another grind for 15 minutes to get another 250,000 XP. And that's gonna be level 46. What that tells me in seven hours, and it could be as high as eight, I can get to level 46 on the seasonal pass. Well, what does that get me? Well, if we look back here, that's gonna get me basically to this ninth unlock. So again, that's pretty far along, but we wanna to get to this 11th and 12th so we get those end game things on the seasonal pass, those artifact unlocks. So to get to that, what I did is I did some math and I basically was able to determine that I would need another 3.4 million XP to get there, okay? With the bonuses I already have in place, that's actually 2.4 million. So there's a couple ways you could do this. You could do some of these uh, some of these things here, and some of them are a little bit easier, like for instance, the Empire Hunt's probably not too bad. The Nightfalls probably aren't too bad. Crucible Comp, if you're good at it, it's not too bad. If you can get checkpoints, like boss, like see if you can join people and get the, the final boss, those might not be too bad. Um, Battlegrounds isn't too terrible. So again, those are things you could do. Um, and you might do those, again, you might get tired of doing other activities, so it might be worth your while. But you could also do a lot of moon bounties, and you could also do, um, you could do basically public events and things like that. So I would think this, so this is basically your first day, okay? Depends on how hard you, you play Destiny, but this is something you can do your first day the seven hours, right? Um, that may, depending on how much of a part-time guardian you are, may take a little bit longer. But I think for the most part, this the second part, I think it's probably going to take, again, depending on how efficient, probably another five to six hours to get this done. But if you really grind on it hard, if you really want this stuff that quickly, you could probably pretty easily, like if you are no lifer and you basically had all day to do this, you could probably do this all in a day. If you're a little more casual, you could probably do this in two. If you're someone that only gets a few hours here or there, this is probably something you do within a week. So again, all very achievable. And when you're done, you get to that 12th unlock. And then at that point, you can get the seasonal rank that you want and you can get that those final mods are on the end. And I guarantee you, those have been the things that everybody has wanted. That's the video, guys. I hope you really liked it. Again, this is probably the quickest way to get up your seasonal pass. Um, I think it's definitely achievable. And if you follow these methods, even as someone who doesn't play that much, you should be able to, in short order to get to those end game mods or at the end of your artifact, and you'll get a jump start on the season. If you like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. Jump in my Discord. Again, that's where I'll have the spreadsheet. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.